uh, an imminent earthquake in TNT. Well, he started to panic, of course. So she did say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And, of course, when could be when the dinosaurs return. I mean, it could be as easy as that. And I was also looking at Facebook on the amount of hits. She probably has the largest amount of hits uh, on Facebook, uh, comparatively speaking, of course, outside of videos that go viral where people beat up on each other. But, uh, nevertheless... <laughs> J.C. Taram. J.C. Taram, brother. J.J. C. Taram. It's great to have you all here. Today's a very important day, but I, I, want you to, I, want to, I want you to tell me about this whole thing with respect to asteroids interfering with your energy. I understand that there are asteroids within the That's the last thing on the, uh, in the world we want. But what's the situation? Well, uh, well, why is it interfering with it? It's interfering because we are all energy fields um, operating at different levels um, mm -hmm. as energy, right? And um, with the asteroid coming closer to Earth, it will affect us in some way. So a lot of people are probably feeling tired or irritated or angry for no apparent reason. And that is the reason um, this asteroid is causing some of that. Okay. Um, think of it as a, a black hole close to Earth, which I see Ooh. clearly. Um, I don't go, like I said, we, we I don't, don't Not a black hole anywhere near. We do Earth, have huh? we do have black holes in the um, solar system. I close. know. When that is also close to us, we tend to pick up on the vibration of it. We are um, light energies operating at different levels. So you'll find spiritual people operating at a higher level. Right. Whereas uh, people who are always angry or agitated, they operate at a lower level. So let's say you sit next to someone who is very angry all the time, you'll pick it up, but you yeah, yeah. wouldn't know so what it, caused it. You know it, what I'm saying? It'll be difficult for you to explain what it is. I've been able to pick up that kind of vibes of people um, mm -hmm. over the years, uh, where you pick up the negativity from people. That's right. You can walk into a room and uh, you can feel the negative energy. Mm -hmm. You could feel that it's bad people sitting in here with people who have ill intent and they have the wrong intentions. Right. Uh, as opposed to, you know, there are certain people, if, if you're among them, uh, you feel something very, very positive. You know, one of the people I feel uh, some of the strongest energies of, and I have to say this, Minister Fazal Karim, have you ever been in his, um, in his presence? No. I often tell people this, that he's one of the most positive people I've ever met. And when you sit in his presence, you feel comfortable. Energized. Energized. And you feel and highly energized. Because I'm sure he has know? good thoughts. Yeah. And he has good intention. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and you have to give him credit. You know, like I was telling you before, eh, about your energy. You were right. glowing. And right. I asked you, what were you doing? Yeah. Differently. And yeah. Don't say why. <laughs> don't say why, don't say why. <laughs> okay, you were glowing. <laughs> and that, that's yeah. a positive thing, because when people look at you and you're, you know, you're straight up and you're, you're just smiling, even if you're not smiling, you're serious, but there's some sort of glow coming out of you. Right. And I noticed that this week. Right. Yeah. Last week it was different. Okay, all right. Okay. So something happened this week. So we can all pick up on these vibrations. You know, it's, it's like uh, Brother Anna will come by my house and I'll ask him well, what's wrong. Not because I know him, but because from a distance I can see his aura. Right. So it's happened many times. Many times I'll uh, tell him, yeah. if you are angry, don't come. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't bother to pass. <laughs> what I saw was actually uh, an auric field close to Earth. And I saw uh, Asia, auric field going close, very, very close, coming very close to Earth. Right. And that will affect us. Could I be, uh, am I affected by the asteroid, I wonder? Could I be yes, one of the things yes. affected by the asteroid? Uh, I, I notice Leo people uh, tend to be a little agitated or mm. short-tempered. In times like these. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 That has been happening. I must say. <laughs> I must say it has been happening. Brother, right. let me, brother, as as sister is talking about it, you 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 told us that today is a very important day in the Hindu calendar as well. Yes. Um, How is that? The, well, the day um, is we are um, pra um, Hindus are practicing um, Navratris here, mm -hmm. and today, if you did not pray or, or do did worship or rituals before, today is the day for that. Right. Yes. Very very auspicious. Actually, um, all morning I've been meditating, and Durga Mata appeared before me, and I started crying, and I couldn't understand why I was crying because it's so much love. And you know, today is also my do daughter's birthday. Right. Happy and, birthday to her. And I, I asked God. I said, you know, I don't want to ask for anything, but protect my children. Right. And I said, after that thought, I said, oh my God, I'm asking for even that. 
Mm-hmm. I don't even want that. Right. All I want is you, oh God. Right. How many of us actually say, you know, we are praying, we are, we are begging God for something. What are we begging God for? Mm-hmm. Today is that particular day, whether it's a Shruti Mata, even for Christ, or even for um, Catholics and Christians, today is the last. Friday before Easter, right? Before Good Friday, and it, it's a, a Palm Sunday on um, this Sunday, right? This Sunday, it's yeah. It's very auspicious for many reasons. Well, we're getting the call to take a break, so I'm going to take a break, and uh, we'll be going across to Hassan Khan uh, in just a bit, and we come back and tell you about the Red Chariot Foundation and the work of Brother Anil and Sister Dave. Please stay with us. <laughs> 